Hello viewers, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today or this evening? Um, I'm on the uh, march today. I'm, I have to travel, so I'm going to just uh, make this quick. Um, oh, of course, overnight we've had that uh, breaking news that John Bolton has, uh, well, resigned, been fired. Okay, and the big question on everybody's lips, well, a couple of questions. With me, there's always a couple of questions or more. Uh, why did he resign and will he talk? And while we're at it, let's look at uh, whether Mattis will eventually spill the beans as well. He's um, already speaking to the media, but he is saying that he would only speak out in the case of uh, national uh, security. Is this such a case? All right, but let's go to Bolton first. John Bolton, why did he resign? Why was he fired? Why did he resign? Okay, so the... Um, the media are reporting that he had a huge uh, fight with Trump over uh, Trump's Taliban meeting. And I will, if we've got time, we can ask if uh, Putin put Trump up to that Taliban meeting. Remember the Taliban insisted that Putin be there for the talks. Hmm. Okay, so uh, polls showing a Trump's approval rating uh, dipping again, of course, no surprises there. Six out of ten people don't want him to have a second term. Uh, McCready and Bishop are fighting it out in North Carolina. It'd be good to look at that one too, but look, we'll see how much time we've got. Um, it might be a bit of a rapid-fire reading this morning. So let's have a look at why Bolton resigned. Why, why did Bolton resign? Why did John Bolton resign? I'm getting a... a it was fairly fiery, um, and I think that Bolton, uh, Bolton has his own reputation to preserve as well, such as it is. Um, and uh, and he's, he, he was always going to butt heads with Trump because Bolton is someone who's used to getting his way with, uh, with the presidents. Um, so uh, let's see, why did Bolton resign? But did he have a grave concern this time? that uh, because he is an extremist, did he have a grave concern about meeting with the Taliban? So these are the thought streams that <laughs> I'm going through. So uh, did John Watton, why did John Bolton resign? Why did John Bolton resign? Okay, so we've got the Queen of Pentacles. That's interesting. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, homeland. So this is this is talking about home, security, um, stability, but it's also got a financial aspect as well. Ooh, okay. Theft and betrayal. Okay, it appears, well, already so close or so uh, soon into the reading that... Um, Whatever Trump was doing, uh, he thought of it as 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 a as a betrayal. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. This also goes to the economy, uh, the stability of the economy. Um, let's keep going. The King of Swords is the foundation of the uh, the reading. Um, so this, who was the king? Bolt, as I said, Bolton thought that um, he uh, had a, a, a authority. Uh, Trump, of course, is the emperor. So again, this clash of wills are seeming to be indicated at. Um, there could have been, oh, now this is interesting, because there could have been something in what Trump was doing that uh, may have been um, able to be investigated by the Congress because this card comes forward uh, for the Congress. So whatever uh, Trump's actions was, do, uh, was uh, doing, were doing, um, it had something to do that it would actually come back on him in the Congress. And it appears that Bolton was advising that way. Um, <clears throat> in the sky, there was an offer, a very immature offer going to be put to the Taliban with that page of cups. Um, immediate future, there is uh, that a disappointment there, a disappointment for um, a belligerence almost, um, a cynicism a uh, divine discontent is the phrase I'm looking forward for. Uh, that is Bolton, but it's also Trump as well. Um, yeah, foundation of the reading. <clears throat> this this is being chained <clears throat> to someone or something. <clears throat> and uh, if we've got time, I will ask about Putin. But that's the um, that's that's what's going on now. The devil. 
Um, that could also be <laughs> Bolton's no lightweight, uh, and uh, he he could actually be uh, plotting something as well. Yep, because we've got the Knight of um, Wands. There is a plan here. There's more to the Taliban meeting than meets the eye, um, and the fear is that Bolton will talk, and he's got a lot to say. Okay, wow, okay. Um, Seven of Pentacles, re-evaluating. Re now, this could be reworking, going back to the drawing board. Bolton, Mattis, we probably shouldn't, I mean, Mattis uh, is, is, a, is a decent person. I'm not saying that Bolton isn't, but um, but he's, he is, a, Bolton is an extremist. Uh, they're not the only ones who are re-evaluating. Um, I feel this is, uh, I, I watched uh, media this morning that talks about Trump. Um, the Republicans actually really are starting to, um, I won't say dislike, but it's that kind of feeling. Um, people are re-evaluating. Let's see. Okay, so it's also Trump. Okay, so for the reasons outlined here, Trump was going to do something that was considered uh, um, uh, a betrayal in some way. When I say betrayal, uh, it was something that could have been um, contrary to America's interests. It had the potential um, to come before the Congress in some way. It was an immature offer that he was going to present to the Tal Taliban. Um now, this is destiny, karma, fate. Bolton, again, uh, is, is a player in all of this saga. The question is, will he talk? Um, we've got this money. Money's coming up in this reading uh, for some reason. We've got the sword of justice and we've got um, weary, uh, battle weary fatigue. Uh, that's Trump. That's Trump there, and it, and I, and it, what's going on in the uh, in the background is the emoluments, um, which is absolutely huge. And I read on that yesterday. Okay, um, because it's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, money, money was always going to bring this businessman uh, president down. Now the question that we need to ask is, will Bolton talk? I'm just keeping my eye on the time. Will Bolton talk? Will Bolton tell all? I'm feeling okay. So let me let me just tune in. Will Will Bolton tell all? Will Bolton tell all? Uh, I feel that he probably will. He'll pick his timing and he'll pick his media outlet, and he will he will want to have the high ground because he doesn't want already. He's saying he resigned and Trump uh, well, said he was going to resign and in the overnight Trump fired him. Now that's a dog act, okay? So uh, Bolton will not be happy. Bolton would have gone out on a limb for this president, um, uh, you know, in his sycophantic way uh, and uh, he would be feeling uh, fairly like he probably wants a little bit of vindication. So I feel he's going to pick his moment. It's going to be like a 60-minute format type of thing. I'm not saying it's 60 minutes, but it will be uh, something like that where he could, he will talk about a range of things as well as Trump. So will Bolton tell all? Yes, no, spirit, will Bolton tell all? Okay, so this is how he's feeling at the moment. <laughs> Loss, left out in the cold, excluded, challenged, uh, challenged by new starts. Okay, so... He will need to do something in the mix of things. Russia, the Empress. All right, so that's the foundation of the reading. We've got retreat. This is Bolton in retreat, um, mortally wounded. Um, and here is his reevaluation card. Uh, that's in the uh, that's in the sky. Um, the insecurity. Okay, so he's uh, all right. So he's fundamentally insecure about what was done to him. Three of Pentacles right now. Uh, this is working with others to, to repair something, to fix something. Is he going to join forces with a group of people that come out against this um, against this president? Uh, because we've got the High Priestess, which is uh, plans in the subconscious, secrets, keeping secrets, keeping things hidden. Um, this is Trump, I feel. Trump's insecure about Bolton talking. Okay, keep. he wants to keep the, the things hidden. Um, all right, the fear is the government, that the government will actually find out. Uh, and so we've got illusion and delusion, not being able to make a choice. That's Bolton now about telling all. 
Uh, however, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and this part of the aspect of this card is legacies, leaving legacies uh, and judgment. Okay, so he's uh, deciding right now whether he will talk. Um, he is going to be approached by the media uh, with this Knight of Cups. This is the... Uh, the um, Page of Wands, which is a communication card, but he'll also be restricted. So right now, um, right now he's he's thinking about doing it. If he is going to do it, uh, it, w it won't be like tomorrow, but I do believe he is thinking about telling all. So the reason that they clashed, uh, the reason that they parted company is that, again, like John Kelly, uh, John Bolton was advising Trump that these things that he wanted to do uh, were either against policy, against law even, um, and that could have uh, um, be uh, some kind of backlash in Congress. Um, and Trump, of course, uh, you know, always knows best. There was something around that Taliban meeting that uh, could have been... Um, could have come back on Trump in Congress. So if that's the case, let's have a look. We've got a few minutes left and then I'll leave it there. I know there's lots to read on, but I can only do um, a short reading this morning. Um, did Putin put Trump up to meeting with the Taliban? Did Putin put Trump up uh, to meeting with the, the Taliban? Did Putin put Trump up to meeting with the Taliban. Now, John Bolton's been to Russia quite a few times as well. So we've got the Page of Wands. There was, that's the signifier card. There was an immature um, policy. This page is only young. Um, let's see what challenged it. Death. Okay, so it could have actually resulted in the, um, well, it did. Um, there was a, an American soldier that died. Goodness gracious. He's your commander-in-chief. Did Putin, the, the star of hope, a guiding light, okay? So, again, most of the things that Trump does is um, is almost like currying favour with, uh, with Putin. We've got the temperance card, and this is uh, balance. It's in the past or imbalance. Yep. We've got the emperor, card, emperor here, control. But the question is, who's pulling the strings? Let's keep going. There's a, an ace there. The truth is going to come out about this Taliban meeting. Why? Whose idea was it? We know it was Trump's idea to meet at Camp David. Those negotiations have been proceeding. Uh, but bringing the Taliban to Camp David, whose idea was that? Okay, we've got compromise here. Um, challenged by... <laughs> I'm using my Llewellyn deck today and some, some people say that that man in the moon actually looks like Vladimir Putin. Yeah, this is burying secrets, okay, Com being compromised and burying secrets. Um, the fear is that tr this, this again, it's going to come, it's going to come back on Trump that's defending himself and retreat uh, mortally wounded. Okay, so let's see. Three of Pentacles working with others. This can be dark money. Uh, and we've got loss. Okay, so it's not giving me... Oh, well. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not giving me a clear answer as to who, if, he, if it, this was Putin's idea. It certainly uh, is appearing it was Trump's idea. But as I said, everything that Trump does seems to be um, in line with something that Putin would do or what, you know, it's like... Trump's the genie granting Putin his his wishes. We've got this offer here in the Knight of Cups. We've got expansion and commerce. So again, and we've got the full and new beginnings. So again with Trump, it's all to do with the dark money in politics. So Putin might not have got on the phone, got on the phone, um, got on WhatsApp or whatever they use or talk, talk in code via Twitter and said meet with the Taliban, but Trump knew, uh, certainly knew that he would find favour with Putin. Now, because we've got that three of pentacles, we all know 
where Trump's money trail leads. We all know the history of the uh, Mueller report and what the Mueller report found. Um, we all know the relationship between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. So I'm going to leave it there. Looks like Bolton is thinking about talking in summary. Um, and uh, he will pick his time, he will pick his media outlet, he will talk about a lot of things, and he will talk about Trump as well. It appears that whatever Trump wanted to do, whatever offer that he wanted to make, was immature and could have led to the deaths of Americans in Afghanistan and Australians and every other, you know, force, peacekeeping force there as well. Um, your commander-in-chief. All right, so... Um, Oh, I was very tempting to keep going, but I won't. I have to go. All right. I hope you enjoyed that short one. I'll be back again uh, with another, re a bit more of an extensive reading. Have a great day, everyone.